Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Imagine yourself walking down the aisle with the great prince of Hezeama towards the priests <laughs> for a marriage vow. Really? Hmm? Um, I can't imagine that. Why not? <laughs> Won't you want to be married to the great prince of Hezeama kingdom? Let's forget about that. You know it is not possible. She will not done walking down the aisle with your numerous girlfriends and many more girls that wish they would date you. <laughs> Me? No. No, that's a sad comment about me. <sighs> I'm sad. So sad. I did not mean it that way. Hold on. Come on. Alright, there we go. Come on in. Sure. Uh, okay. There we go. So, um, what could I offer you? I can't see him here. Let me see. The question is, what would you want to drink or eat? Listen, they have a meal that I have. They're not going to eat chocolate. Time I... I actually tricked you into this place. Do you know why? Because in our gaffer sometimes when I see you on the road, I imagine and wonder how it would be and what it would look like when we are and I couldn't walk. <laughs> what? Listen, for some time I've been watching you. Mm -hmm. I I will, yeah, I want to, uh, or wouldn't you want to go down with the great prince of his market? You must be out of your mind. Nonsense. What? Are you talking to the great prince of his kingdom? Huh? Really? Come back here, my friend. Are you mad? Huh?
Who's that? Who is that? right here in the palace as we speak with your father. Hey, um, get her cleaned up. Clean all this mess up. Alright? Back with her from my room. I... I'm going out and I may not even come back today, alright? So, okay. Alright. Hope you will be good. Hey, do what I told you. You mean you will leave your traditional seat as you know of this kingdom and contest for the governorship position? Eh? <laughs> but that is where the money is. Or uh, shall we leave politics for riffraffs and um, all these uh, rabble rousers? Don't, don't, don't make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. Ivan Ekudu, excuse me. Hello? Hello, Daddy. Azuka. Daddy, I'm in trouble. In trouble? How? What is it? Where are you? I'm in the palace. You are in this palace? And you are in trouble? No, no, no. Okay. They brought me to this room. Uh, uh, he, he raped me. Daisy raped me, Daddy. I'm in this room. I can't come out. Okay. Uh, Lola will be attending to you quickly. Okay, stay where you are. Huh? <laughs> Highness, Udeze lured my daughter to his room, tore her clothes, and raped her. What? In this palace? Can you imagine that? Ah, Lord have mercy. I'm going there right away. I'll attend to them. Get to that letter. Where is she? She's in the desert room. has been promising to introduce me to the manager of the soft drink table. I 
Seins gehen zu Liebes. Ich werde ihn weiter hin zu dem Palast. Zwei Schule sind auch hier. Okay, mir leid. Also, are you trying to tell me that both of you did not come here to have fun on a mutual agreement? Why are you making it sound as if you are the victim here? Is the bedroom where official meetings are held? Is it? Your Majesty, you were surprised when you brought me here. When you came, I asked him with the manager at least. He told me that I was going to imagine how it would feel like to, to have fun with me. But then he realized that he was lying. I wanted to run out. He grabbed me and started something. Oh, really? Why didn't you scream? If Udeze promised to give you money to sleep with you, and after sleeping with you, he failed to fulfill his promise, it's a different ball game. I will give you the money. What I don't like is telling lies that will desert you. Why do you need to shout or even scream? Why? Your Majesty, I'm not smart. I realized that he tricked me. I wanted to run out. He grabbed me instead of hitting me. I. I. I remember I, I passed out and I only regained control. He was he actually Will you shut up? What I don't like is people telling lies about others. <laughs> Why those tears stand? Your Highness, I'm not happy at all. I am so sorry. Forgive me. My son's sin is my sin. I take responsibility for it. Please. I am on my knees. It's okay, okay, Your Highness. You are the embodiment of our community. Ora zelo funyo yeli jamwe. Mano funyo zelo ora fala chapia. However you were, this your son, Udeze, he has manifested this act of atrocities since childhood. And you and Lola have hampered him just because he's the heir apparent, the successor to the throne. Which are you there? Oh no, what can I do? Do sorry. Do so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Oh no, what can I do? There's no problem. Um, it's just a little misunderstanding, and uh, I have talked to Azoka. Um, meanwhile. Let us, as parents, guide our children very well. Let us tell them to be contented with what we, the parents, give them. Instead of following boys that have money. Huh? Excuse me, Your Highness. Are you implying that I didn't train my child very well? Your Highness, this attitude of your son is unbecoming of a successor to the job. Thank you. Okay, no. 
as you can just be guided, okay? Why are you crying? Nay, what happened? It's Udeze. He lured her to the palace and raped her. Hey! Don't her clothes. Eh? Chimu! She's wearing a dress, you know, that belongs to one of the palace. Hey! Yes. Eh? Mother. Can you imagine that the Lolo wanted me to accept that I am guilty? Hey! She even wanted to offer me money. So it looked like it was a mutual consent. Can you imagine Beatrice hey. implying that we didn't turn our children well? Can you imagine Beatrice? Beatrice said that. I'm telling you. Comparing my daughter with that stupid, arrogant son of hers. Hey! Azuka and Udeze, who is better brother? Hey! Who do I blame? Who do I blame for this rubbish? If not for the respect I have for the throne of our forefathers, if not for the respect I have for Igwe Francis Modebe, a nice gentleman, I would have taught some people lesson. They can't imagine what I, Uno Wukalestus Onyebuna, would have taught them some lessons. But nobody destroys his own. Nobody destroys or kills a person he will find his funeral. Udeze. Udeze. you know that in trying to defend your son, you insulted the person of a noble? Your Highness, I did not insult a noble. I only tried to advise him to talk to the young girls so that they will stop following men that flash his money at them. That statement was misdirected to a man like a noble he is a disciplined and straightforward man who brought up his children well, unlike us, 
who failed in that regard. By the way, where is that rapist you called a son? He hasn't come back since then. Please. That is why I keep on warning you that you are spoiling that boy. But what did you tell me? That I should be patient. That he will overgrow it. Now tell me what do we have? A rapist. A rapist! Your Highness, you're right. But then in this issue, we don't need to blame him. Let us solve the matter at hand first. Let us look for a way to apologize to Unowu. Your Highness, it is better to chase away the hawk before blaming the chick. Exactly what I am saying. We have been chasing away the hawk without blaming the chick. I'm sure you understand the weight of what Ono said. The people will not have a rapist, a street fighter, a drunkard as their king, or one that will send their forefathers throne. Please, Your Highness, don't talk like that. It looks as if you're supporting the you know. Our son will succeed you when you are gone. Rezo, where were you when my son was attacking the poor girl? Your Majesty, we all came back together and they entered the house. So I thought they are either in the palace or one of the private parlors upstairs. It only came to my notice when he called me. My friend, why do you think I approve your being hired as his bodyguard and driver? Is it not to prevent such atrocity? Why are you uh, beginning to think that you are not capable for this job? And you listen to me. Next time such atrocity will happen, I will fire you. Do I make myself? Don't sorry, get out of my sight right now. Get out! I'm sorry. Igwe, that Onowu's statement is not ordinary. It is weighty. Now, oh, you are beginning to talk like a woman with a sense of steel. In case you don't know, if anything happened to me today, Onowu Kalistus has the power to stop our sons from becoming the next ego of this kingdom. No. No, Your Highness. Your Highness, you're welcome. No, no, no. Greetings. Oh, no, we can miss this. And your beautiful wife, Mercy. I hope I met you in peace. Okay. Can we go inside? Dr. 
No, 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 no. Uh, I will do that when next I come on a social visit. But for now, I came to see my daughter and know how she is doing. How is she? Well, she's okay. She just stepped out to a school friend of hers that visited her. Oh, that is very nice. It is good to note that she is up and about. I also came to apologize on my son and to tell you that he has been severely punished for that of the world. Um, let's go with it. Oh no, this is a hundred thousand years. I want you to go with and take care of it. Well, Your Majesty, thank you very much. It's not necessary. You shouldn't have gone to this extent. Hmm? Uh, I've treated my daughter. Of course, she's my daughter. And she's okay. Hmm? No, oh, oh, no, you're getting it all wrong. I'm just giving you this money to show you how truly sorry I am. Take it. Your Majesty, please. You can keep the money for other victims of the base that may not be able to treat their child. You may be poor, but we can take care of our own. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. No sense. No matter what they do to cover that boy's madness, you never get successful without you. Oh well, <laughs> Oh yeah, Janya, so thank you. Thank you, Dana. It's so good. You can eat it. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Your Majesty. Please, who am I talking with? I don't recall saving this number on my phone. It's me, Doris Elizabeth, living in the US. Oh, Doris! How are you? Wait a minute. This is Nigerian number you're calling me with. Are you in Nigeria? Yes, I am. I came back two nights ago. Oh. In that case, I'm not happy with you. You came back since two days ago and you're just calling me now. Oh, please, I'm sorry. Um, we had issues with our luggage and that's what has uh, taken our day all day yesterday. So, please, I'm sorry. What about your kindness? Oh, he is fine. And how is Francis? I know he must be a big man by now. Oh, he's fine. He came back with me. Inside. Oh, that's good. And in that case, um, I will send the driver tomorrow to come and pick you guys for lunch. I hope tomorrow will be okay for you. Oh, that would be nice, Your Majesty. Oh, cut out that Majesty thing. Well, would one o'clock be okay? Um, yes, one o'clock is then. See you then. See you tomorrow. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow, dear. Bye. Wow. Your Highness, do you know who called me? Oh. Doris just called. Oh, really? Yes. That is nice. <laughs> they are in Nigeria. Oh, really? Yes. That's nice. It's been a while. Uh, is she coming to visit us? Yes. Uh, it's over 15 years since she last came home with my godson. Exactly. <laughs> yes, I think it's over 15 years. Yes. Hmm. This is good. I, are you inviting them for lunch? Yes. Oh, <laughs> that reminds me. Let me quickly tell them in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> Your Majesty, yes, I'm, I'm coming. I'm happy to. Um...
was the situation in the palace? Boss, the matter has not died down. Everywhere is still hot. My fear now is that my job is at stake. Your mother said I shouldn't have allowed you to do it. Is that all? Boss, you need to see how angry you know was that day. If not because of the respect that he has for his royal highness, he would have had your head on a platter of gold. My friend, quiet. Listen, I, I can handle all that. It is not a problem. I don't know why you are shaking. Huh? You understand? Listen to me, Udeze is a jungle. And like a jungle, I am meaner than mean and better than bad. I go out here, I go on. But right. you need to clear this mess. Yeah, I know. To clear this mess. I know. Let us go. Let's get into the palace. Sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me, Pico. Oh, I don't know. Forgive me, Pico. If you don't leave here right now, I will kill you! Good morning, please. Help me beg daddy now. Help me and beg him. I'm sorry. Mommy, I, I do not know what is what is wrong with me. Is there anything wrong with you? Mom, mom I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I don't know what. There's something that is happening to me. You know, the thing will be pushing me, pushing me around to do what I do not want to do. And when it, the thing has succeeded in pushing me, after doing it, I'll begin to regret everything. Mom, do you know that yesterday, after doing that, do you know where I ended up? I slept in the church. Church? Mom, and when the pastor saw me, the pastor came and he said I need deliverance. I said it. I knew it. He said I should come for deliverance, that I need spiritual help. I know that what is happening to our son is not ordinary. That someone is behind it. So my dear son, um, how did the pastor intend to help you out? He said that I should... Yeah, hey, this, it is only a gullible mind like that of your mother's that you can deceive with your antics. Okay, fine. You need help, right? I will get my gun and kill him! I can't, Your Highness. Please, don't do this. This has not gotten to that. You know he's our only son. Why are you treating him like this? Yeah? Oh, thank God that uh, a solution has been found for his problem. 
Do you now see that you are Udeze's problem? You are part of his problem because you always run to his defense whenever he commits offense and is about to be disciplined. Let me kill him. No, no, your highness. Please, don't kill him. He's my only son. If you kill him, I will be childless. God forbid. What will people say? Hi. No. Beatrice, it's so sad that you are Udeze's biggest problem. Oh. I am not exonerated because I have always been easily swayed by you. I have refused to take stern decisions when it comes to discipline. He means time, he commits atrocities. Would you what is it? Lunch is safe. Okay, thank you. Hey, your Highness, sorry, you had a visitor. She said her name is Lady Doris, and she came with her son, Mr. Francis. I kept them in the city, in the palace. Fine. Make them comfortable. We'll soon be with them. Okay. Your Highness. I know. Let us try and put up a cheerful face and put everything behind us because of our visitors. Who will discuss it later? And you. Daddy, thank you, sir. And you. I want you to put up a cheerful face. Okay? You go and change into something good so that it will look good for our visitors. Put up a smiling face. <laughs> And make sure you follow up the deliverance, okay? Put up a smiling face. Not like that. I very well. <laughs> you eh? <laughs> Thank you, It's okay, sir. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I told you. I told you I know how to handle my father. So long as my mother is there, I can do anything I want to do, get away with anything I want to get away with. Listen, I should be doing Nollywood film. Yeah, because you needed to see my performance. It was on cloud of nine. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, boss? Hmm? But his Ono daughter. Who, 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 who is Ono? Ono, does he have a son name? Ono won't wear shoe. Who is Ono when my father is still here? When my father is the king, I mean the great king of his year, my name Ono. It's me, a boy. Eh? No one wants to shoe. Rap when I don't know where they are going. I want to hear your name. He's Ono because now they know your name. Hello. Right. Oh, forget about it. No, the matter has been set, taken care of. <laughs> you understand? Meanwhile, um, we have an important guest. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me join them, and then I will take my man Francis out later. Mago, there has you know, spoil him a little. So see you later, boy. Mm -hmm. Rezo, keep your eyes on the ball. On your card, there's a foul. I'll see you soon. All right. <laughs> Nollywood actor. Ah, yeah. I used to have a friend all day. I was calling. I was calling. I was calling. So, how long are you staying this time, Eric? I don't know for now, but uh, my plan is to get classes settled and also acculturated to Nigeria. Oh, that's a great. Problem. That will not be a problem at all. Yes. 
Because Udeze is on ground to show him around. No, 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 no. Udeze would not show him around because I don't want him to influence him wrongly. Oh, there you go. Ah, yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Come, so, brother. I'm good. Look at you, man. Look at you. Hey, hey. hey. Good hey. Good How are you, Desi? I'm good. Wow, you're such a big boy and also a gentleman. Well, you organize I'm it. Also a gentleman. Thank well, you. Nice to see you. Thank you. <laughs> My brother, man. Wow. Nice to see you, man. Of course. <laughs> so, you guys have been talking. Of course, on a Kumasi level. Last time he came back like 10 years ago. Uh, yes, we'll, we'll be communicating on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You know, he's been keeping me up to date happening in Nigeria. Ah, well, yes. Yeah, so I don't know about that. Yeah, no way. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, geez, man. I am always the last to know anything. <laughs> but that was very nice. That is very nice. Um, do you know that when you guys were very young, before you traveled overseas, people used to think that you were cousins. <laughs> I know, right? Um, please, let us all proceed to the dining. The food is getting cold. Let's go ahead. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Rod looks good on you. <laughs> no, you don't have to thank me. Doris will come a long way. Thank you, Francis. Oh, Your Majesty. <laughs> Look, you don't have to apologize. My name is Francis. Look, you knew me when I never knew I would be the ego of my people. My dear, it's nice to have you back. Same here. Same here. Have a nice day. And you too. Oh. Hey, Doris. Doris? Yes, yeah, she said she called you and your phone was switched off. Doris called? Yes. Oh, my phone is not switched off. Yeah. Oh my God. Four missed calls already. I'll call her back later. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sorry. And um, where are they staying? In a hotel. Mm -hmm. And that brings me to what I have been meaning to discuss with you, Your Highness. Mm -hmm. I think. We should help her by bringing her to stay with us in this house. Mm. Yes, instead of paying all that hotel bills. Mm. I think you're right. Yes. Uh, because if she exhausts her money paying hotel bills, it is us that was still going to bail her out. Exactly. Why wait till then? We have enough rooms to accommodate she and her son in this house. Exactly. Why not? Oh, thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> That's why I love you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> you don't have to worry. She's our guest.
hospitality. You guys are doing wonderfully well. Thank you, sir. And but please, your compliment should go to His Highness and Her Majesty. Yeah, I can see the good heart of my godfather written all over your smile. And you're beautiful too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank so what's the name? My name is Obianiju. Obianiju Mwa. <laughs> um, you can call me Uju. Uju. Cool. Hello. Hello. Good <laughs> man. Uh, you said reading. Well, I'm trying and really doing my best, and I'm um, here. Yeah. Audrey here has been helpful to me. I see. Sir, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll pick my lead. If you need anything, please call me. Okay. <laughs> man. <laughs> you really want to have some fun, right? You want no, some she, fun? She's pretty. That's <laughs> no, okay. That's one of my leads. Mm -hmm. If you want on a kung kung way, it's okay. It doesn't doesn't kill. On the main lady, if you just she she yeah. <laughs> you know. So um, as a matter of fact, I've lined up some chicala asinobu for you. So set with deco, then I'll take you out, paint the town red. One time kill man. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> You see, when you can swim me and you go, when you go, you don't want to let it be your own decision. So when you are wise, you know this book. You understand what I say? The one who will go outside, you know, I will have some chicks lined up for you. Or some people who have any charisma, man. You know, and then point and kill. You know, when you point, boy, yes, I mean, you deserve. There's a, there's a jungle and that the meaner than mean and better than bad. Shh. We do it back one day ago. My brother, man. Well, you know, certain. I'm off the way, bro. I know you want me to do that. Pictures. If I say I have enough words to express my gratitude for all you and your husband have done for me, then I'll be lying. Oh, thank you. Thank you for everything you have done for me. Doris, must you continue thanking me? If you were in the same position, you would have done the same thing, if not more. Okay, remember. When I couldn't conceive, I almost committed suicide were it not for you. Francis, my son. My husband, he, he went out. What of Junior? I mean Junior, my grandson. Tell him to come and take the biscuits I bought for him. Or rather, you take it to him. You see? Mama, you know there is no Junior in this house. And it is not my fault. Whose fault? Mine. Each time I am coming here, I always buy something on instinct, which means there should be a child here. If I may ask, why do you think you were married into this family? Mama, 
I got married to Francis because we love ourselves. No wonder. No wonder you've not given us a child. You think you are here to do love? Now, get inside that house. Pack your things. Go back to your father's house and do love there. I said, go inside. Go inside. Go inside or I do it myself. I said, go inside. I don't have any family. Mama, please. Mama, please don't do this to me. Go inside. Go inside. All is well. Uh, have you eaten? And uh, why are you doing this all by yourself? Where is my wife? Um, is she in? Um, Beatrice, honey, she's honey, gone. she's what? Go away. She's gone because I sent her away. Ah, mama. Ah! The moment I saw you, I knew there would be trouble. Listen carefully to me, Francis. It seems you don't know what the time is saying. I will tell you. Your father is dying. And if he dies today, you are the next successor to the throne of Eziama Kingdom. Listen. The kingmakers are looking for alternative because there is no sign from you that you can perpetuate your father's lineage. They are considering your stepbrother. Mama, Mama, we are doing our best. There is nothing wrong with either of us. Mama, in no time, we will give you as many children as you want, boys and girls. You don't have that time at your disposal anymore. That is why I sent her away. Let's look for a woman that can give us a child. Just get used to that. Because I am making arrangements for a young, fertile girl that you can marry. Let us be. Look, Mama. What? I don't think. I am not even interested in becoming the ego of, of my people. What? Yes. Francis, where have you been this morning? I've been looking for you. You didn't even check up on me when you came back. What, Mama? I went out there to look for my wife. My beautiful wife. My dear wife. I went to her house. And I was told that they have not seen her. I just hope nothing terrible happened to her. Happened to her. Hey, 
Hey. Good morning, Mama. Good morning, my daughter. Francis. What about Beatrice? We were supposed to see yesterday, but she didn't turn up. So I decided to come and check on her to know what is happening. I hope she's fine. She's in my house. She's in my house too. You can come and see her. trying to get my mother back to my father. Believe me, tomorrow she will leave. Uh, my annual leave will soon finish and we will go back to the city. But in the meantime, I am engaging my mother on this matter. Yes. Thank you, my love. But I'm afraid. Afraid of what? that very soon the royal family will pressurize you to get another wife. Mm. What will be my fate? Just, just, just look at me. A married woman roaming about the whole street like a common thief. And now a refugee. How can you say that? You are not a refugee. Doris, your friend. Would you mind if you stay in a house? Honey, no. Doris has her own problems. Do you know that Doris is pregnant? Pregnant? Are you sure? I have never seen her with any man. And uh, who is responsible? That, that is the problem. That is just the problem. Doris told me that the man that is responsible for her pregnancy is already married and will never marry her. Of course, you know that her father, being a priest in this village, will disown her the moment he realizes that she is pregnant. She's looking for where to go and deliver so that the father will not know. Um, don't worry. I'll call short my annual leave. I will walk to the city. Oh, yes. Thank you, my love. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes. In the meantime, I will put up with Doris. Yes. Thank you very much. As long Honey, as you are happy, you. I love you. If you had not have bought me in your parents' house, where would I have been? My parents were dead and I had nobody to run to. You were there for me. You took me in. Thank you very much. Oh, come on, Beatrice. I did what I could under the circumstance. What I did for you is nothing to be compared to what you and your husband have done for me. How did Reverend Lodibe get to know that you are pregnant? I don't know who told him. I made sure that I don't spit or vomit around him. I just don't know how he found out. Francis, Francis, hey, hey, you need to see how her father chased her out of the house with a hatchet. I thought he was going to kill her. Is it that serious? It's very serious. Hey, what do we do? She doesn't have a home with her pregnancy. I mean, 
I don't have a home with your mother harassing me everywhere. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> okay. It's not that bad. <laughs> you go to the city, stay there until I resume work. Oh, she is our friend. She has been helpful to you this past week. So she will go with us. We will take care of her and the baby. Hey, 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 don't do that. Get up. You don't have to need to trust me. You are our friend. I'm so grateful. Don't worry. This will be okay. This will be all right, okay? Let us stop crying. <laughs> hey, he is fast asleep. He has been sleeping since. Chai! <laughs> hey, Doris. Uh, you have not told me who the father of this baby is. Who okay. is actually the father? Beatrice, please don't take him. Forget him for now. Please. What do you mean by forgetting for now? Do you realize it's this same issue of forgetting for now that made your father got mad at you because you refused to tell him who the father of this baby is? That's why he got mad at you and sent you back in. He's... He's a married man. Uh -huh. And I promise not to destroy his marriage by disclosing his identity. Besides, he has left the village back to his hometown. Yeah. I'm going to get to my game. I don't know if I'm going to get my game. I'm going to get my Okay. Hey, women. <laughs> How are we? It's your fight. How is my big boy doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm sure you've bettered him. Reduce your voice. <laughs> I hope you baited him. Yes. Well fed too. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yes. 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 Mm. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much for all you have been doing for me. And also thank you for buying so many things for my baby. Stop. <laughs> Stop that. I can't think of the feeling. It's okay. It's okay. Look. Give the thanks to God. Exactly. We are doing this. Believing that God will open our womb. Amen. <laughs> oh, amen. I can't wait. To... Hey. See, I have spoken to the parish priest about uh, our baby's uh, baptism. Oh, yes, he's ready nice. and he's waiting for us. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, that is good. Well, um, Talking about the baptism, there is what name do you intend to give him? Or you want to name him after your father? No. Mm. I will call him Francis. Yeah? Yes. After Francis Mobile. You know? Yes. Francis. I want you to be his godfather. Wow! Accepted. You have been so good to me. <laughs> and I have a Accepted! I am honored. <laughs> Thank you. you see, <laughs> Let me stop clapping. Without you and your husband, I don't know where I would have been by now. Thank you, my friend. It's okay. We will keep helping each other. Also, well. After all, we're more than friends. <laughs> yes, more than friends. We are more like sisters now. Um, well, Francis, I hope he likes his role. Oh, who does it took him out to show him around? Wonderful. <laughs> then you and I will equally go out and have fun. Oh, wow, that would be nice. <laughs> because I've missed a lot. Exactly.
<laughs> my brother, we are here. Uh, Boss, we are here. Are you stupid? What kind of question is that? Don't you know what you're supposed to do? Yes. Leave. <laughs> What does he usually do for you? Uh, well, he is supposed to go in there, chess everybody out, you know, every customer hates because we are here. <laughs> the you prince know, of land, the prince of the land is here. Excuse me. Like he will go in there and ask all the customers to leave for you to come in. Uh, listen, I am blue blood. Hmm? The king is here because I am the son of the king, the prince of the land, the, the great prince of his Yama kingdom. So, <laughs> are you expecting me to be in the same building, in the same place with Miss Kranz, hired assassins? Maybe there are some hired assassins there and they even kidnap us. So, security reasons, you go there, evacuate all of them before we go in. So, don't worry, one them, hey, Gako. I am Udeze. I am the Django. Mina than Mina, better than bad. I go ahead, they are going to know. You know? It's all right. It's yeah. all right. <laughs> Boss, she is not cooperating. My prince, please. The idea of chasing away all my customers each time you come here is not good. It's killing my business. Those that you chased away the last time you came, they never come back. Right now, in there, I have many customers and you expect me to chase them away. No, my prince. Are you out of your senses? No, no, no. Who, who are you talking to? Me? Or my driver? Or my boy? Are you speaking to the, the crown prince of Eziama kingdom? Huh? Get up, who's it? I'm a tice, Nanya. I'm a tice, the brain. Silence. Quiet when I'm talking. Are you mad? Who is the owner of the building you're occupying? Who is the owner of the, 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 the space? Do you want me to evacuate you from there? Please, my friends. Look at you. Please. Are you stupid? Do you, do you know? Do you know? I cannot prove to you who owns the space you are occupying. I am the crown prince of the Ziyama Kingdom, and my father is the king. Automatically, that space is mine. That building is mine. Are you mad? My friend, it's not got no I said, listen to me one more word, and, and I will remove your lashes. Look at you. Are you stupid? Uh, huh? Look, 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 look at this. You're right. I am cool with it. Trust me, I'm cool with people in there. You are? Yes, I I, I love hanging out where there are people, beautiful people. All I want is just good music and cool people dancing around. That's all I want. Really? Yes, yeah, so I'm cool. You are lucky. Can I bet you that Francis does not have any problem with it? Otherwise, or the Waganya Nefia. Otherwise, or Daddy Egisi. Look at this. Stupid you. It's all right. It's all right. No, no, no. Go. Go and, and, and prepare my usuals. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. Right. Come on, leave. Got that trouser like Bungo. Like. You, can, you, can, you can imagine. Yeah, hey, Rezo, get, get into town. Eh? You know, I don't want to do pants, pants, you know, get clean girls. Erode, Azoka, Iroka, Asna, among you. Right? We did, we are in. Can you let us entertain my brother? Oh, my brother, you understand me? My brother, you are about to have fun. Let's go. You might imagine this non-entity. Right. Now we they run the town. Now we they hear others day for bush. Hello?
Wait, let's help my friend. Oh, please, now. Wait, let's help my friend. Oh, please, let's help my friend. Please, let's help my friend. My friend is you. You heard when he said I should stay off his business. And that is exactly what I am doing. Staying off his business. Uga, please, now. Hey! What kind of trouble is this one now? Eh? I don't want me about prison to days. Eh? <laughs> Which the people convinced me to follow him? I even beg my friend to come with me. Oh God! <laughs> I remember the day my father was looking for me. He came looking for me at your house. And I was standing right behind the door. <laughs> he was holding the door. <laughs> I was being on my side. <laughs> and he searched and searched everywhere for you. <laughs> but you know one surprising thing? He said he saw you enter the house. <laughs> Are you aware about uh Say smart is your pregnancy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I can't stop thanking all of you. I'll always be here for you. Oh. Because I've been so great. Oh, my boy. <laughs> oh. And we have not both been all day. Good day, brother. Oh. Francis. Oh. Yeah. How are you, Francis? Very good. I have not set my eyes on you today. Where have you been? I went out with Ubeze. We, we went to hang out and also he had to show me some places and also see some people. Wow. So you guys have been having fun. Uh, you see, um, I would rather you make your own friends and choose where you hang out differently from Ubeze's. Your Highness, why would you say that? For so many reasons, I you know. But Your Highness... You see, Beatrice, you and I failed where Udeza is. But this one was properly brought up well with good value by Doris. So I wouldn't want him to be influenced by Udeza. Look, my son. Do not allow him to influence you. He is a bad person. He does not respect anyone. And he's wicked. So stay away from him. And I am serious about that. Excuse me. I need to return to my chair. Take care. Isn't that a bit of an attack? It was. And I met it. So, you know that I stay clean. Thank you, Godfather. I. Excuse me. What was that all about? Is it fair the way you speak down on Udeze before Francis and his mom? Is it fair? Woman, at my age and status, do you expect me not to say my mind? Or speak my mind? Or do you expect me to speak with my tongue? 
tied to my cheek. Your Highness, it is not fair at all. You have already chastised him enough. Thank God he has decided to go for deliverance. Ah. <laughs> Sin is believing. Until I see the change with my own eyes. Before then, Odeza is so far away from my mind as a son. How are you? I'm very fine, Mr. Francis. Oh, that's good. How are you doing? I'm fine, man. Very well. Hey, Mr. Francis, you went out to the priest earlier today. I hope you had fun. Oh, uh, yes, I had fresh fish, pepper soup, and uh, mm, bo bo bobby. You ate in Kwabi? Yes. Did you prepare it well? Was it nice? Did you like it? <laughs> hey, Mr. Francis, you would have told me that you wanted to eat in Kwabi. I would have told the cook to make it for you, or mm. better still, I would have prepared it myself. You know how to prepare that, too. Hey, Mr. Francis, I can prepare even Uba and make for more sauce for yourself. Uba? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's called Uba. It's okay. called Uba. Uba? Uh, okay, okay. But, um, Mr. Francis, don't worry. Anytime you need it, it's just before me. Yeah, it's alright. It's make okay. It for you. I'll gladly make it for you. It's okay. And I know I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> so you're still working? Uh, yes, I just finished cleaning the passage. I want to go and clean the kitchen. Okay, so uh, let me assist you. Okay. No, ha, Mr. Francis. <laughs> I'm being paid to do my job. I don't know what that is. I just want to assist. Hey, no. no, no, don't worry. I, I insist. Okay? Hey, I insist. No, Mr. don't worry. Francis, please don't. Francis, I'm going up there, okay? Yeah? My prince. Okay. Business. What's going on? What's the problem? Not you know. Ah. It was Mr. Francis. He wants to help me to clean the kitchen. I told him that I should not, but that it's my work. It's her job now. That's why they are here. So that they will serve us. Mm. Yeah? Okay, sorry. Okay, go, 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 go. Can I say it's my job? It's my job. And you need to explain to him that it's your job. Kiddo, okay, what are you talking about? Me, why? Why did you leave me there? Yeah? I, I wasn't having good chat with that girl. I'm telling you that it was just a one sided discussion, so I just had to leave. Good chats? Yes. But, but, but my brother, I will know. Francis, can you even chat, eh? Eh? You don't need to chat with anybody. What, it, on a very kubasi level, once you have one on one with somebody, a girl like that, on, if you need a ball again, ball again, oh, ball again, oh, net, 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 what that's what you that's what's up in that to tax. You don't expect me to bully the girl now. You want them to arrest my guy. I mean, I can go to jail for that. Why? For boiling her. Well, listen, here, no, rape is not a problem for me. It's my style. One, once I get a girl one on one, bonya, on them something. So, I mean, if the girl was being hard, you know, saying no, 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 you can't do it. On the tear her apart, can you never? Yeah, maybe next time I will. Um... Join me, join us. <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> That's what no. I'm talking about. You're my monty, man. When uh, you, you left me there, I was worried. It's okay. Same and there, I go look. No, no, next time, next time. I'll join you. Let's bo get inside. Bo it is what? Bo what? Bo bonya. Bonya. Yeah, bo bonus. Bona, bona. Bona, bona something. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? What is that? What is that? Yeah? <laughs>
Where are you going to? I'm going to the shopping mall down there, sir. Sir? Who is that? I was greeting you. Are you are referring to me, yes, sir. Uji must be very funny. My name is Francis, if you don't know. You want me to address you as Francis? Ha. No, sir, it's not possible. Please just allow me to address you as Mr. Francis, sir. Also, if you're okay by that, you can still call me whatever you want to call me. And so, can I join you to the mall? No, sir, don't bother yourself, sir. Let me go with sir. Would you? Uju, Uju, what is it? I was talking to you and you just walked out on me like that. I, I'm so sorry, sir. But I told you that I'm rushing to the mall to get some things. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. You just say, I just want you to understand that I like you as a friend. If you don't mind, I just want us to be friends. That's it. Sir, sir sorry, sir, but sir. Your Majesty, I want to thank you for your settling of that matter very well. Uh, it's clear. That was why I told uh, the Council of Chiefs that um, I needed to consult with you. Hey, man. What can I do with you? Thank you very much. But there's another matter you were. Yes. Another matter? Mm. That our land along the expressway. Nzakujo became with a man who said wants to buy it. To develop it into a park, a mechanic park, where all big lorries, tippers, and others will be, you know, settling in. So I said, okay, I'll reach out to you. Mm. Um, I know as much as we're trying to encourage the development of our community, you agree with me that some of this development may be counterproductive. A mechanic garage at the edge of our community is risky. Now I ask you, who drive these big lorries and trailers mostly? They are mostly people from afar, you know, these drivers. They buy a dime at the bottom. You see, I um, know. Not that I am trying to discourage the development of our community. But you see, this one, it has security issues. Okay, uh, Igwe, I heard it very well. Uh, it's simple. The matter will explain. Doesn't need to be, you know, looked for in the dictionary. Very good. Yes. Marco Walafa. I'll go back to them and tell them that it's not for sale. Hmm. Aye, chikonato wai. That's it. Makana dimpa e de do eba. Kohana abashona. 
pero bueno, no me ha pasado. Pero bueno. I'm amazed at the rates of uh, development in this community. In fact, the community has turned to a town. But look at it now. <laughs> it's now a city. Well, that's why the Igbos are who they are. You know, I na rollo, na bumbo, na chui guma ne mo tego ne ili ako ne deba ako ne duzi ako. That's a typical Igbo man, industrious and hardworking. That's why when you come to the Igbo land, you might go and watch some towns in Igbo land. You know, you find out that the speed of development is on a higher level. <laughs> what do you expect? Uh, you'll be surprised that the village you, you know two years ago has changed and turned the town. You know? <laughs> because um, <clears throat> it was a wonderful enemy. So I'm so glad. I, I am really happy and impressed. And I'm happy and proud that I'm from this part. Yeah, Trust me, I am. But you know, the government pay more attention to the bad roads. Mm -hmm. Good, good schools and um, well, hospital. That is the bedrock of every society. I know, right? I know. Would oh, you thank God you're here? Mm -hmm. Please, can you help me change the towel in my room? And again, I, I don't do this. Uh, why you don't want anything to drink? No, any soft, um, something cold. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Francis. We don't have any cold soft drink. My friend. Get into the house and then ransack everywhere for cold drink. I'm saying we don't have any cold drink. Oh, quite no, no, no. There's no light. Eh? There's no light in the house. And then, when I, did you switch up all the uh, refrigerators? No. My friend, walk away. Hey, come, come. Come around, come. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Are you, are you okay? Something wrong with you? That's because I pressed your bum bum. Is that why you threw the tray away? Nonsense. What if I... I... Ah, oh, what is it? Stop that now. Stop it. Relax. 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 These are my subjects. Stop getting They're my subjects. I'm blue blood. This is... Look at what I black blood, man. I'm a, I'm a king. I'm a king's son. <clears throat> son of the king. Automatically, I'm a king. A crown prince of Asia Kingdom. I don't like when someone talk down on people just because he has a uh, better opportunity in life. I truly don't like it. Francis. Francis, why are only? Francis. I don't know if you have idea to see the idea of the from a cookie when I have an idea to see somewhere. Nah, form. <laughs> Ross, enjoy yourself. Point and cue. I have no one at the moment. You understand me? <laughs> Listen, I'm Udez. I am like a Django. Django, me not a mean, but I am bad. We are royalty. And we are having fun like royalty. I go to Eliag. Hey, hey, hey. My friend, come and clear this. Thing. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Francis, where's my brother, man? And my prince. Hello. Let's see what I can use, my friends. Aha. Hey, stop. Oh. Oh. What is it that Francis sees in you that I have not seen all this while? Mm. 
I'm sorry, my friends. I just came to drop some toiletries. Mm. Hold on, finish up again. Mm. Don't worry. Anyways, um, come to my room later. Hmm? At least you have a fresh bath. Alright? And then wear good perfume. And change into something revealing, like nightgown. So, I'm fully, fully a man, I treat Francis, you know. Hmm? Right? I'm sorry, my friends, but I cannot come to your room. I know what you want. And I'm sorry, I can't give it to you. Are you okay? What do you mean you can't do what I am asking you to do? Huh? What's that? Are you rejecting the, the prince of the land? No, no. Shut up. Are you saying you are better than those that I have had 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 it with? Is that what you're saying? My prince, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just that I promised my father that I'm not going to have anything to do with a man till I'm married. Wow. Hold on, I, you're telling me you're a virgin. Is that what you're saying? That you're a virgin? Wow! <laughs> I feel good. I'm like a virgin. Listen, I like virgins. She gets, I like virgins. You understand? Come back. My prince, 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 my What's wrong with you? That you get out of your room? Get out. You're ordering me out of my father's house? Listen, I am a crown prince. My father is the king. Next time you want to order people out of the room, go to your father's house. That is if you have one. Are you stupid? Don't try that again, you Francis, what is wrong with you? It's okay, I'm here. It's okay, I'm here. Eh? I'm here. 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 I'm Jesus Christ. Why are you fighting? Francis! Can you tell me what is going on here? I'm asking. Let him tell me. In my father's house. Who dares say? Why are you fighting? Oh my god. Hey. Who dares say it's a jungle? How do you know that name? Father that bad. One night. Shh. Why do you know? Who dares say it's a jungle? I do not know that name? Father that bad. I go out of here. Shh. Okay, 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 okay. It's 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 okay. I'll call you later, okay? <laughs> what is wrong with you? How can you be a problem to everyone? How could you fight Francis right in his own room and to worsen it all? When the mother and I 
came to ask you the cause of the fight. What did you do? You walked out on us. If your father hears this, what do you think your father will say? Eh? That is the problem, Mom. Exactly the problem. Because father talks down on me every now and then. That's why Francis has the temerity, the authority, the strength to walk me out of his room, right? Yes, Mom. That guy is insane. He's insane, Mom. That's what you keep saying. Exactly what did he do to warrant both of you fighting? Okay, Mom. We're standing outside. Uju came to serve us drinks, okay? And this is crap that ass. Mom, I was so embarrassed. I told him this isn't decent and it is not proper. He, he, he said he has a right to do whatever he wants to do in his father's house. That is what he said. Who dares it? Better come clean with me so that I will know what to tell your father when he asks. Eh? When he hears it and asks what the problem is, I will know what to tell him. What really happened? Why did Francis walk you out of his room? What did you do that led Francis to walk you out of his room? Well, mom, I... <clears throat> nothing, actually. Nothing. No matter thing, him ago. You know, I... It was not a big deal, though. I touched the uh, juice ass. You know, I... I got it. That was just all. You did what? Oh. You fumbled with Uju's ass. On a Kumasi level. On a Kum Kum way. No, no, no. I from Nabella and I is it? Is it not because you go up here? Can't get us on a Kumasi level. On a Kum Kum way. You can't want mad. Me do what? It was not a big deal. It was just Francis that made it a big deal, and I walked me out of it. Can you hear yourself? Can you hear yourself from there, sir? Yeah. You have virtually raped all the maidens in this palace. One of the incidents which led to the death of one of the maidens. If not for your father's influence and connections, by now you would have been rotting in jail. Still, you don't want to stop. What is wrong with you, Udeze? Eh? If I had another child, I would have killed you myself. I go out here, I go. I'm going to join the bar. When I hear about the assault, he did that. That is exactly what he did. I got into the room. I saw him trying to rape this girl. This innocent, decent girl. He was molesting her. Well, I know how to pull him off her. You know what he told me? He said that I don't have the right to order him in his father's house. That I should go to my own father's house. That is if I have any. And throw my weight around. That's very stupid of him to have said. No, Mom. He is right. But they say he is right, Mom. We're in Nigeria. In our own hometown. In the first place, Mom, why, why did we go to a hotel? Why are we in the Igwe's palace? Why, Mom? Why not my father's house? Why not my father's family's house? Why? So, so please. Please calm down. I know you're upset about today's day. But please, let this not take us back to a discussion we have been having. A discussion, we have had a discussion we never concluded. We never did. Mom, Mom, you said we will get to Nigeria that you're going to take me to my father's house. To my father's family's house. To my father's people. Mom, I want to see them. I want to go to my own father's house. I want to see my father's people. I want to see your own people, mom. I want to see them. I want to see my family, my real family. So please. So please, not again. Don't start. Please. So please. Please, mom, calm down. Please don't start this again. Mom, I am serious. I am serious, mom. Really, I am. Okay. 
Okay. I'm going to wait till tomorrow morning. And by tomorrow morning, I am going to submit my own finance. Mom, if I find out that my father is still alive. Try to rape you. Hey, hey, my sister, you are lucky. If not for Mr. Francis, I came to rescue you. Very, very lucky. In short, my name is called Lucky now. Hey, I am so happy. I don't even know how to thank Mr. Francis. If not for him. Hey, I just, I feel like, eh, Kai, I feel like, I feel like, oh, it's not you. I feel like I hug you. Kai, Mr. Francis, is it only to hug him? I know that you like him. And he likes you too. If not, why do you think that he rescued you yesterday? Eh? Um, that one is not what we are discussing. You see? Hey! Mr. Mr. Francis! That is Mr. Francis. Yeah, good afternoon. I hope Udeze did not hurt you yesterday. Hey, no, no, sir. I should be the one asking you. Hope he did not. <laughs> no, I'm alright. I'm alright. Hey, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much for fighting for me servants like No, it's okay. It's hey, okay. I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand him or anyone molesting you. Hey, thank you. See, please, uh, would you? Yeah. I want you to tell me about this place and these people here. And also, do you know where they have the Iziama Catholic Church? I want to go and meet uh, Reverend Ilodibe. Ilodibe? Yeah, Ilodibe. Ilodibe. Okay. You are at the right track. It's not far from here. Once you come out of this compound, three streets after this compound, you see Reverend Ludibe's house. Behind his house, you see his Yama's Catholic Church. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much, eh? Uh, uh, Mr. Francis, um, why are you asking after Reverend Ludibe? Is everything okay? <sighs> yeah, everything is okay. My, my mother told me that. Uh, family so i uh, that's something i'm looking for actually i want to find out something from him anything you're looking for your mother should tell you about it excuse me what were you discussing with my son francis yeah? I said, what were you discussing with Francis? Nothing, Mom. Nothing. He he only asked me if I know Reverend Ilodibe in Asia Mass Catholic Church. Yes. Your Majesty. Excuse me. What is the matter? You sounded alarmed, and before I could hear what you were saying, you have called the call. Beatrice, there's a problem. There is a problem, and I don't know what to do about it. It's okay. Just <sighs> come inside, okay? Let's go inside. Come on, come with me. Let's go inside. Sorry, I didn't hear you calling. I hope there's no problem. There's no problem. Okay. Mr. Francis, you know we were discussing when your mom came and left. Yes. Mr. Francis, you are a very nice man. You've been very protective of me. I want to help you. Tell me, what is it you want to know? Oh, Drew, don't worry. This is way beyond you, okay? Because I'm a mere servant, right? Well, 
I will disappoint you. My mother worked in this palace for Igwe Mudebe the first. She worked for him for 15 years. When he died, another Igwe was crowned. My mother came back to the palace and worked for another 10 years. So, as you can see, I was practically born and raised in the palace. So there's nothing I don't know. So do you believe me now? I'm sorry I underrated you. That's not um, You were talking about Reven Ilodibe and the Catholic Church. Yes. I know you want to know about your mother's people and mom, yes. right? Yes, exactly. Um, my mother told me that Reven Ilodibe was your mother's father. In fact, your mother was the only child of Reven Ilodibe and he loved her so much. He said he loved her so much until your mother got pregnant for him. So Reverend was very angry and had to send her out. He would disown her. My, my, my mother did not tell me all this. Your mother and Lolo Beatrice, they were best of friends. So Lolo Beatrice got married earlier to Igwe Modebe. So, when your mother was frustrated and had nowhere to go, she had to beckon on Lolo Beatrice, who took her in. So, she went to stay with them in the city. Lolo Beatrice and Igwe Modebe took very good care of your mother and you until you were born. So, um, you and your mother had to stay with them for some time before Odezu was born. Igwe had no other choice than to send you to the US. This is quite a new permission. So, did your mother mention to you who my real father is? Did she tell you anything about my real father? Hey, I'm sorry, Mr. Francis. She did not tell me anything. So, Momo, that was a teacher where your mother was, that got her present. Why others, Momo, that was a civil servant that worked in the post office, that got your mother pregnant? And they said the civil servant was a married man. So, he rejected the pregnancy. And that was the main reason why Venino Dibe was very, very mad at your mother. Because of the married man. I don't care. All I want to know is who my real father is. Like, even if he's dead, let me just know who he is, where he's from. I mean, his family. That's all I care about. That's all I want to know. Mr. Francis, I think I have an idea. There are three people that will know who your father is. God. One is Igwe Modebe. Two is Lolo Beatrice. Three is Onowu Kalistus. Onowu Kalistus is Igwe Modebe's best friend. So if Igwe Modebe knows who your father is, or know who Kalistus also knows who your father is. You need to calm down. Eh? Let him go and do his findings and come back. He will definitely come back, so don't worry yourself. Yes. Stop jittery over this whole thing. He's a man. The man must find his path. Because he will need to bear his name, inherit his company, and then continue his life. My dear Doris, you should have told him who his father is a long time ago. Eh? You didn't even tell us. Hey! I have never seen a secret so guarded. Hi! His father is dead. And what if his people lure him away? Then I will stay empty handed. And stay childless for the rest of my life. No. No. <laughs> no, Doris. You're getting it all wrong. He is the man. He will not stop until he finds his father's family. Even if it is one survivor that is in that family. He will not rest until he identifies with him or her. Ingo, so just calm down.
Well, Francis, I like the direction you're going. Hmm? It shows that you're a very intelligent young man. But I can't help you. Yes. I only knew when my friend, the Igwe and Beatrice, took your mother in. But I didn't go to the extent of asking who was responsible for her pregnancy. I'm sorry. Can I help you? All right. Um, thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. I beg to take my leave now. <sighs> Francis. Come. I don't know why your mother didn't want to tell you who is responsible for her pregnancy. But that must be a reason. Why don't you go and ask her? Because that will make you continue the search or not. Jessica, hmm? I wish you good luck. Sorry. Good luck. Thank you very much once again, the love. No, no, no. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, the lady of my. Hmm? Thank you, sir. Ah. Nice. Ah, uh, when you. Hey. Merci, merci, Kelly. Nice. Uh, thank you. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hey! Thank you, boy. What is it? Nice. This morning, mm -hmm. I saw Azoka vomit. So I took her to the hospital where they ran a test on her. Nice. Azoka is pregnant. Eh? Preggy? Mba, 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 mba. See for yourself. Azoka Dime. Hey, hey. Udes and bubum. Ha, na, na, mni. Mom, why don't you want me to know my father's family? Why? What is behind this secrecy? What? And why did you refuse to tell your father who was responsible for the pregnancy? Where did you get that from? I went to see Reverend Lodibe. I went to his house. And I met his younger brother, Mazo Nyeze. Mazo Nyeze directed me to my godfather's house, to his family house. I got there, I met his sister. And they all said they don't know who is responsible for your pregnancy. And that was what got your father angry and he sent you away. You actually went to see those people? Francis, it wasn't easy for me. The person responsible for my pregnancy was married. And I couldn't destroy his marriage. I couldn't destroy his family. He, he begged me not to disclose it. And before I knew it, he already left the village and I've never seen him again. Oh, how could you? How could you, mom? How could you have an affair with a married man? You keep preaching about morals, morals, morals. Whereas you have none. Now look who is suffering it. Okay, tell me. Where is this man? So he's dead. I saw a friend of his that told me he was involved in a car accident. He's dead. And you never cared to ask his friend my father's village? You never asked him where my father is from so I can go and look for my people? It didn't occur to me, son. Mom, how could you? How could you?
you have an affair with someone you have no knowledge of? How? See, Mom, I don't believe you. I truly don't. And all I want is the truth. Else, you're going to lose me. Yes. No, son. No, son, you can't do that to me, please. You can leave me all alone. No, 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 please, don't say that. You can't leave me. You can't leave me all alone, son, please. Son. Please, son, please don't do this, please, son. You can't leave me. Oh, oh, I'll be all alone, I'll be left all alone. Mom, I am going to give you a few days. Few days to decide. All I want is the truth. If you don't tell me the truth, then you're going to lose me forever. God. Uh, um, Your Highness, we are here. You stand for us. I think they are safe from us. It is better you hear it from them. Mercy, tell her exactly what you told me. Thank you, Your Highness. Two days ago, I noticed that Adak, my daughter, was not feeling well. And she was vomiting too. I took her to the hospital to run a test on her. The test result showed that she's pregnant. I sat her down and discussed with her. She told me that Daisy, your son here, is responsible for the pregnancy. That is why we are here. I brought her to you. Uma, what are you talking about? Huh? You're, you're pregnant? For who? Father, I, I, I did it. It was just... I did it once. Only once. It takes once for pregnancy to occur. Father, just once? Huh? Mercy. How certain are you that... Who dares that my son is responsible for her presence? Oh, oh my people. Yes! I know that Udeze had something to do with her. But I also know that Udeze might not be the only man that has had something, something to do with her. Uh -huh. Would you respect your majesty? Are you insinuating that my daughter is wayward? I want to correct something. My daughter is not good because I took time to join her and I can vouch for her behavior. Azoka is not a virgin. I know she has not had anything to do with any man for the past two years because I advised her to finish her education first. <sighs> anyway, uh, I don't know how you people want to go about this. But for your information, my son here, who dares a woman, is already engaged to be married to a lady, well groomed lady in the United States of America. <laughs> the lady has a doctorate degree, and she is the daughter of our deputy governor. So, as you can see, as the prince, he cannot get married to any person but somebody of timber and caliber. No, I can hear that. Oh, no, you and your wife have notified us of your daughter's pregnancy. It's noted. I have no doubt that my son here, Daisy, is responsible. We have a tradition in how we handle such matters. There will be a family meeting. And Udezi inclusive. Oh no, my friend. 
you'll be notified after the meeting. And I assure you, the right thing will be done. Thank you, Your Highness. I understand you perfectly. Yes. Yes. Huh? You are giving them hope that you will marry their daughter. What is the meaning of this? Father, father uh, this one, I walk over. Someone just walked in here and said that I, I got her pregnant. <laughs> you you listen to them. It won't work. It's okay. No, 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 it won't work at all. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. More than then, once. Oh, uh, once. Well, that's all you about. Yes. Can you just go to your room? Let me talk with your father and make sure you don't do anything stupid. Father, we go to the It's okay, calm down. What's your room? Ah! It's a man. Your Highness, I made an observation, but you ignored it. Please talk to me. Do you realize, riding on the tiger's tail by your consistent insult on no one's family? Why do you always look down on them, implying that their daughter is wayward? Why? Your Highness, Desperate people can take advantage of situations like this to enter the palace through marriage. If you don't stop them from the beginning, they will be all over you. You are forgetting something, woman. I know Callistus have been my friend since childhood. He's well read and attained the highest level in the civil state. In the civil service. Is it because he did not enrich himself fraudulently that you are making a grievous mistake by looking down on him or antagonizing him? Your son's chances of becoming my successor largely depends on him. So, as it stands, with this record, does not impress him or any other chief. Stop being or worsening your son's chances of becoming my successor. But your highness. That does not mean that you should allow our son get married to their daughter. She is not fit for him. Any woman that is fit for any man to sleep with is also fit for him to marry and our songs there's a it's not an exceptional Nine. Nine. 
Petri is trying to say that Azoka is not good for her son. Mercy. It's not all the time the dog barks that the owner gives it attention. Sometimes the dog barks just to seek notice. I don't bother myself about what Beatrice says now. I listen to the word. And he has told us to go that will get back to us. Hmm? I, I hope you will comes up with a good decision now. If they deny Asoka's paternity, it means Asoka will abort their baby. And you know, it is risky. The church and God forbid it. Mercy, I know. I know all this. Hmm? Don't make me fool. Nah, I'm of a million This is serious, so. Jump here. Jump here. Yes, I will go straight into the matter without wasting time because I have some people waiting for me in the palace. I called you two here in respect of the issue of Grand Askosani, Mutesi, and Azoka. I want to tell you that I have decided that Udezi will marry Azoka. Mm -hmm. Ono and I have agreed that his wife should bring Azoka in the next few minutes. Father, I'm a queer male. Ah, I have the right to choose who I want to marry. It is my life, or not your life. You are right. I concede to that and also acknowledge that. But I must remind you that you cannot mess up other people's life and expect yours to go the way you planned it. Look, whatever you do in life as a man, be ready to take the responsibility of the consequences of your actions. Your rapist tendency has landed you into marriage. In three months, we will plan your wedding. If you like, go out there and impregnate another woman. I'll make sure that you marry her. Yes. Well, luckily, Polygamy is acceptable to our tradition. Mom, are you are you just sitting there and, and not saying anything? Are you not hearing what, what Father is saying? Huh? Mom, say something, Biko. What's this? Nani, this is not fair to him at all. What do I tell my friend Sheila? You know that Udeze and her daughter are engaged to be married. Eh? She's in the United States and you know it. It is not fair at all. It is not. Look, woman. I will not always do what is fair to him. He should do what is fair to others. Like I, I have said before, Azuka will be here soon. It is your responsibility to welcome her into his room and make her comfortable. If he refuses to marry her, huh, I will not only disown him, but I will kick him out of this palace. And if you oppose it, you will go with him. This is my call. And 
it will always stay. And it is fine. Anybody who does not like this decision should get out of the palace. I'm not going here, Mel. Father, in fact, you two get out. Everybody should get out. What is that? Nobody can push me away in my, my father's okay. abode. It's okay, just calm down. No, go there. I'm not going to mess with you. Calm down. I'm trying to calm myself down equally. Mom, mom, just, just, just hold on. Can't, can, can't somebody do, 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 do whatever. Please shut up. You are the cause of the whole problem. Just calm down. Ha ha. no one you come and see. Oh, come and see. I'm not going to mess Azoka, okay, what are you? Remember all the advices you receive at home. Eh? Be respectful. Be respectful. Don't do anything that will bring shame to us. Okay? Don't worry. Everything will be okay. Okay? Thank you, mother. Any girl will be glad to be married into the royal home. But me now, the thought of being around that, <laughs> that today's day is frightening, mother. Calm down. Calm down. We have gone through this before. The Yiwe is a nice man. I know he will protect you. Okay. I know. I can assure you, you will be safe here. Okay? Of course you will. Your father is always here too. Eh? Just go inside and take good care of yourself. Eh? Don't do anything that will bring shame to us. Eh? Yes, Don't worry. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Okay? Thank you, Mother. Don't worry. Everything will be okay. Okay?
let us be realistic about this matter, Doris. Time has caught up with you. You need to complain. Yes. I know. I know. I will tell him. I guess it's about time. Mm. Better. Now you are talking. So that this young man will be happy once again. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Azoka. You are here now. Yes, Your Majesty. My mother brought me. She had just left. Okay. Um, just get settled and join them in the kitchen, okay? Thank you, Your Majesty. You can go. Um, who is she? Oh, that's a uh, desert's wife. Desert's wife? Who does it has a wife? How? When did it happen? Uh -huh. Like I was saying. Uh -huh. Who's that? Come in and close my door. I don't want to know about your deal with my father. But I want you to put this into your skull. I don't care about you or your pregnancy. If you have chosen to be in this room, never, never you speak to me when I have not spoken to you. Don't touch, I mean, don't touch anything in this room. Last, don't try to play wife, wife to me. Last time was nice. Come some more. Sure. 